let me give you one more interesting unit cell which I was requested to include in this course. So, let me there is one sure sort way of getting one unit cell a particular kind of unit cell and it also ensures that you get a primitive unit cell and that is what is called a Voronoi cell. It has many names in mathematics also it has a non unique name names Voronoi cell sometimes called also Dirichlet cells or Dirichlet domains. And today for uh, preparing for the class when I was looking Wikipedia there are few other names also. So, but Voronoi is quite common and we will use Voronoi cell. Voronoi cell is that you focus on any you select any given lattice point as your favored point. Then you draw a line from that lattice point to the nearest lattice point whatever you find. Then you draw a perpendicular bisector. Why I am doing this? Actually see the whole space is there and so many points are there. These points are now demanding right. They do not want to be in the community. They are demanding tell me how much of this space belongs to me give me my land. So, now it was a very democratic government which decided ok whatever whatever land is closer to you than any other point you take it belongs to you. So, now that is why I chose this point and its neighboring point and divided a boundary here perpendicular bisector. So, everything on the left of this boundary is closer to my central point than the other point to which I have joined it. Okay. So, if these two are fighting what region belongs to me and what region belongs to you then the left region left region obviously belongs to this because any point in this region will be further to that point than to this point is that fine. So, a fight between these two is decided, but then there is so many fighters so many points all around. So, we have to do this exercise for all other points. So, then we say ok there is a point vertically above. So, again we divide the space. So, everything below this line belongs to my central point and then there is this I again divide a bisector everything to the right. belongs to this and everything above belongs to this. So, of course, others are also fighting, but their claims are weaker. So, if I join this and draw the bisector, so that goes exactly through this point. So, that is anyway is on this side. So, a smallest region of course, yeah if I do this that should be also there. So, with respect to these four points the region which belongs to it so to the central point is this green green square, but with respect to no sorry. Uh, I wrote it wrongly let me correct it with respect to these points 
the with respect to these points the green square belongs to the central point but with respect to these points the orange region belongs to the central point so the smallest region which we get from this analysis is the orange square so we say okay to the central point this orange square belongs and since all lattice points are identical all of them will get if if i do the analysis for all points all of them will get identical orange square okay what will be the property of these orange square with so the, this is what is called a voronoi cell voronoi cell in mathematics little bit more general because it can be made for non periodic set of points also but when done for periodic se set for crystal in crystallography uh, a special name is given a wigner site cell a wigner site cell so we have constructed a two dimensional wigner site cell for a square a lattice region which is closer to a given lattice point than any other lattice point so this square is closer to the lattice point which belongs to the square than any other lattice point okay so that's that is the wigner site cell is it primitive or non primitive primitive because by definition every voronoi cell or every wigner site cell will contain only one lattice point so when you will go from one cell to another cell the translation will always be by the lattice translation and since each one is having one lattice point all lattice translations have to be included if i want to tile the entire space so wigner site cell automatically are primitive unit cell so this is a special kind of primitive unit cell now in in a square lattice it didn't give anything much interesting result because we were anyway we were getting a square unit cell without thinking so hard about these perpendicular bisectors and all also but when you do it for other unit cells other lattices then you start getting interesting result so for example now let us jump i have not given any example till now for 3d so let us end with one 3d example so let us say bcc unit cell body centered cubic so body centered cubic is a three dimensional lattice where the lattice points are at the corners and there is a lattice point at the center that's why it's called and by repeating this cube the lattice which i will generate i will call it body centered cubic lattice so is it primitive or non primitive non primitive because it has a lattice point in the middle so non primitive that's why non primitive since they will always have something inside also so uh, often called centered lattice centered unit cell because they have some centering 
either body centering in this case or face centering. How will it is diff difficult to imagine how will the mm, how will the Voronoi cell or the Wigner site cell of this will look like. So, you can see that there are 8 near neighbors if I focus on the central one 8 near neighbors. So, I will draw a perpendicular bisector to all these 8. So, I will have some 8 faces perpendicular to these, but not only that there is a cube next to this cube sharing the face. So, you take that center there is a cube below this. So, on all the 6 faces there are other cubes standing like this top and bottom left and right front and back all these 6 also when you bisect. So, the 3 D construction is not easy and I am not able to do, but I am only giving you the result so to say. So, where will be the bisector plane for this? Write the common face, common face itself is the bisector and on the common face. So, on the common face because of this cut you will get a square. So, on all the common faces you will get a square. on your Wigner site cell. So, you will get 6 squares and then I am I am drawing I can uh, understand if you are having difficulty in seeing what I am drawing, but these will then be connected like this. if I rub this off for a moment the back one. So, this is the top this is the top square this is the front square and this is the right square and in between the square you will get a hexagon which is a face coming by by the bisector of this vector. So, the green green near neighbor from the center to the uh, corner is divided by this hexagonal face. So, this solid which comes out of this analysis is known as truncated octahedron sometimes a more fashionable name tetra chi decahedron which which does not mean anything more than tetra 4 and deca 10 and chi plus. So, and hedron faces. So, 14 faces 6 square faces and 8 hexagonal faces gives you 14 faces. So, the Wigner site cell of a BCC is a tetrachidecahedron. The colored are Voronoi points of Voronoi cells of the corner 8 corners of the cube and the internal blue one of which you are seeing only the square faces the hexagonal faces are hidden because these other cells are sitting on that. So, that is the Voronoi cell of the central one. So, you can examine this. So, with that thank you.